Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be doing an online simulation from the University of Colorado, their FET system, to talk to you about the models that we have of the hydrogen atom, taking you all the way from Dalton's model through to the model based on Schrodinger's theories. To start the simulation, you need to turn on the electron gun here, and you can see um, everything that is going to be fired at it and what happens. So we don't know what is going on in here, because this is an experiment. This is what really happens. And when you're doing experiments, you don't know what is inside the box. You're trying to find out what is inside the box based on experimental data. So, if we go to predictions over here, we can start to see what would happen to different things based on predictions. So, we have electrons, other little blue ones, like that one, that one, that one. Uh, protons are little red ones, like these ones, that one, that one. And, and neutrons are the purple ones, like that one, that one, that one. That one, that one. Now, if it was our billiard ball model, if we had just a solid block, anything that hit it would be deflected straight back or deflected back at an angle. But if we compare to the experiment what really happens, that is not what we see happening because loads and loads of stuff is going straight through. And then a few things are being deflected, but not all of them. If we go back to our prediction, say our plum pudding model, where we have our negative electron um, kind of bouncing around in a sea of positivity, again, you can see that doesn't really match up with the experimental data. Because in the experimental data, we have just loads and loads and loads of stuff going through. And with our plum pudding model, we get things being um, deflected afterwards, um, things disappearing, things changing. If we look at our solar system model, um, you can see it explodes, which is always fun. Just go back to that one again. Prediction, there's the electron. The electron was whizzing around the outside. Um, because the electron was negative and the proton was positive, it smashed into the middle. So let's move on and look at our ball model now. Now, the red ones, the protons, are the ones we're going to want to be looking at here. Because some of these are going to be deflected and some of them aren't. And you can see our electron here keeps jumping around between the energy levels. That is when it either absorbs or emits radiation. So if we look at our electron energy level here, we can see here is our electron, and as it either emits or absorbs radiation, it jumps between all the different energy levels. And here our number is going to be the shell that it is currently on. And you can see we're starting to get a model that fits with the experimental data really quite closely. So if we just spend some time looking at what actually happens with the experimental model here, we can see some neutrons are flying off. And there's another neutron there. There's another neutron. And another one. And when we go to um, our ball model here, you can see that we had a neutron flying off up there and a neutron flying off down there. We can see that quite a lot of stuff is going on. Neutrons here are our purple ones, protons are our red ones. Moving on to our next, now these two models are moving into quantum physics here. Um, so quite a lot of complicated stuff going on here. But we can see that the electron isn't a dot that just um, moves around in one place. We're now looking at the electrons as a wave, but still can be at different energy levels. Moving on to our last model, we can see that things don't just move in a linear way here. We are moving all over the place, our electrons jumping around all over the place. Now, these models are just models, because if we go back to our experiment, we do not know what is inside this box. We do not know for certain, 100%, what the structure of an atom is. We just have these 
different models which are based on the best evidence available at the current time. So these are our current, this is the current model that we're working on, the quantum model, but who's to say that in a few years time it might change to something completely different?